Y'all, we're going to be talking about the stimulus package timeline in this video and some more other things. Please stay tuned. Thank you for coming back to my channel for your stimulus check and stimulus package update. Please subscribe to my channel. Please leave your thumbs up and please leave your comments. Thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel. I really do appreciate you for that. Thank you so much. Bitcoin. I think I got some good news about Bitcoin. Uh, if you see anything about Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, WhatsApp, anything like that in my comments, just know it is not me. But the good news is I see it slowing down. So maybe YouTube is getting a handle on it. Let's just hope so. The new channel, I've got a new channel. The link is in the bottom of this video. It is the Walter Wyburn Experience. Please go over there and subscribe. We're about to start a new contest for $1,000 over there. Okay, let's get into this thing. Recess. Y'all, why is it okay for all of these lawmakers to keep going out on vacation? They can call it what they want to, but still, it is vacation from Washington. It's because we don't hold them accountable. And the only way we can hold them accountable is to vote them out of office. But no, we don't do that. We keep voting the same corrupt lawmakers into office. Y'all, we have to change the way we vote and vote these people out. These people will not allow term limits, so we have to set term limits ourselves. If they're doing a really good job, which none of them right now are, let them stay for two terms. If they're not doing such a good job, and none of these are, let them stay for one term and get them out. Most of these career politicians have been there way too long, and they're out of touch with the American people. It's time for them to go. Y'all, if they don't get this uh, package done soon, they're going to go out on vacation for the entire month of August. I, I think they will go out on vacation whether it's done or not. I do not believe that they will be held over in Washington. I wish they was held over in Washington until it's done. That would just make sense to me and probably everybody else. Get your job done, then you can go out for play. Ain't that what we told our kids? I think they will st still go out on their vacations and we the people will pay for it. But you know, they can be called back to Washington at any time. They're gonna, when they go out, they would most likely be on call. That means the leaders of the parties can call them back to Washington at any time to vote on a bill if something major happens. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Now, with all this flying around the country, whenever they want a little vacation, leaving Washington, going home, leaving home, going back to Washington, and God only knows where else they're going. And it wouldn't be so bad if it was one of them. But this is every one of the lawmakers are doing this. Now, can you please tell me how this is good for the so-called Green New Deal? Them burning all that jet fuel? I mean, come on now. Out of one side of their mouth, they say want, they want the Green New Deal. Out of the other side of their mouth, they're burning all this jet fuel. Makes no sense to me. So when will the people get a stimulus check? When will the people get Medicare reform? When will the people get a raise for SSI, SSDI, Social Security, and VA? Will the unemployment boost be extended? Well, let's talk about this. Let's talk about the timeline and see if it will. <coughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all, this is my projected timeline. Now, I'm just a YouTuber. I have no inside information. I have no knowledge of what they're thinking behind closed doors. A lot of YouTubers give these projected timelines, but it's only what we think. We see what's going on every day, so it's just what we're believing is going to happen. That don't mean it's going to happen. 
But I see it this way. Y'all, they came to a uh, decision on the pay force for the bill. Now they still have to vote. This will be a closure vote. And when they do this, then they, that's just stopping negotiations. Now they have to put it all in text and get it to Nancy Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi will hold on to it until the American Families Plan is done. Then she will send both of them to the president. Their vacation will be for the full month of August. Okay. When they come back in September, they will have to be working on the budget. That's going to take most of the month right there. So they won't be working on any stimulus packages then. Then at the end of September or the 1st of October, they can pick up the American Families Plan then and start working on that. But I believe it will be November before it's all said and done with the American Families Plan and they get it done. Then it could be December before we get the American Families Plan and the American people gets the help that they need. It could be December before you get your stimulus check. If they do it this way, and I believe they will, then they can act like, look at us. We gave you a big Christmas gift in the form of a stimulus check, in the form of Medicare reform, in the form of extended unemployment, in the form of a boost. I mean, these politicians will use this to sway your vote. They will make it look like they've done such a great job and gave you this big Christmas gift. But at the same time, they made you suffer how many months? Please don't forget that. I know a lot of people will be happy when they get a stimulus check. If they get a stimulus check, they're not in the bill yet. Please don't think that I'm telling you they're in the bill. But the thing about not being in the bill, right now nothing's in the bill. They don't have a bill. They got proposals. There's no stimulus check in the proposals that they've got now. There's a lot of lawmakers talking about putting a stimulus check in there talking about the need for a stimulus check I believe there will be a stimulus check in the bill before it gets passed but how much further down the road will that be y'all the American people are suffering and it's due to the lack of action from our lawmakers we have to remember this in the midterm elections and vote the ones out that we can in the midterm elections the ones that can't be voted out in the midterm elections, 2024 is coming up also. We need to vote them out there. We need to send, We need to do this, and by, by voting these corrupt politicians out, it will send a message to the ones that's coming in to replace them that we're, we're pissed off and we're not going to take it anymore. They give us a line of bullshit like these have, they will be gone too. Y'all, please get the addresses and phone numbers in my description box below. Write your letters. Make your phone calls every day. Let your voices be heard. If you don't let your voices be heard, then don't complain. We have the power of the pen as well as they've got the power of the pen. They've got the power of the pen to sign the dotted line. we got the power of the pen to write those letters. But we've got something that they don't have. We got the power of our vote to vote their sorry butts out of office. Y'all, please go over and subscribe to my new channel, The Walter Wyburn Experience. We're about to get started on a new $1,000 giveaway over there, and it won't take as long as this one did. It's going to be fast and easy. Y'all, please leave your comments, what you think about all this garbage that's going on. Be hard in my comments. Please don't just say hello or something like that. Get off your chest what's bothering you. Get it off your chest. Let these lawmakers know how you feel about the job that they're not doing for you and how they're making you suffer. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through this. And 
Y'all, I really don't think it's going to be that much longer. I see light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of people don't, but I'm, I do. Uh, it's not going to be that much longer. Y'all just know I love you all. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for the world. Say a prayer for our leaders, whether you like them or not. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And just know I love you all. Until next time, ciao.